Hello, I'm Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we began the Gym Leader rematches, today we are going to jump back into it, as it has been a while, and we're going to finish up those rematches. There are only a couple Gym Leaders left, and as you can see, Loki is excited too. It's been a while since we've had the chance to play through this game together, and I'm very pumped to be back here with you guys. As we go, I'll tell you guys what I've been up to. First of all, we're going to make our way back to Vermilion City, since we are going to be taking on LT Surge. Last time, we took down Misty, we took down Brock, we took on Green. Today, we are going to continue through here, and we're going to take on the rest of the gym leaders. We're going to be able to battle them once a day, so make sure you guys battle them for that experience. I get a lot of questions about where do I go and train? Go train here. So here we go. The Vermilion City Pokemon Gym. The gym leader is the LT Surge. The Lightning Lieutenant. So let's go ahead and step back inside. Now this time doesn't look like we're going to have to go through the puzzle. And it looks like our boy here is going to be cheering us on as well. So let's talk to LT Surge as our team is ready. Let's see who we're going to put up in front. I'm going to open up with Tack. And let's see what Tack can do around here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey there, kid. Pretty shocked you made it through the Pokemon League. No doubt some Electro-type Pokemon had a pretty big hand in it. Alright, how about you show me a Pokemon you've raised? Here we go, guys. Rodri versus LT Surge. Our first battle here in a while. So let's see what we can do. We're challenged by Lieutenant Surge. And LT Surge is going to send out an Electrode. So Lieutenant Surge has got it going on. He's got a nice gym set up. And he's going to do everything he can to take us on. As you can see, the Electrode is level 56. So a little bit higher level than us. The Gym Leader rematches are going to be pretty tough. And it's going to be a lot of fun to do it. Let's throw out our Mega Charizard X then. And let's start hitting up some of those Earthquakes. I hope you guys have been having a great beginning of your year. I've been going through a lot recently. So I've been dealing with a lot of personal stuff. And that's the main reason why I haven't been uploading. I've been handling a lot of personal issues. I've been doing a lot of growing up, thinking a lot about my future, spending a lot of time with relatives and friends, trying to really place myself in a good position for the future. So that's something that I'm working on every day and I'm still working on it a lot. You know, I, I've been through a lot in the past couple of years. I know that a lot of you guys have been watching for years on years. And I have to tell you guys that I've changed a lot as a person and grown a lot as a human being since you probably watched me in those first couple videos in Pokemon Platinum. And as I get older and I get older, I want to have more of a purpose to my life. And that's something that I've been thinking a lot about. Now I know that you guys are always there for me and I really appreciate that and it means the world to me. All of your support means the world to me because I do do this for a living. But eventually you have to start thinking maybe there are some other options and some other things that I can do. And I've sort of been in that position because YouTube was really, really all that for a while for me. It was everything that I really wanted. But over time, as I've changed as a person, as I've gotten older, I'm 27 years old now. So I'm not that young 18, 19 year old kid that first started making videos. And throughout that time, I've just been finding what I want out of life. And I need to find a way that I can do what makes me happy while also being able to sustain myself. So that's something that I will be talking to you guys more and more. I just want you to know that I am back and I will be uploading more videos. I'm going to be wrapping up all of Pokemon Let's Go. It should be pretty easy. All that we have left are the Elite Four, the Gym Leader rematches, maybe doing some Master Trainers, and then taking on a final battle here and there. So, hope you guys are pumped! Looks like there's still a gap between our skill levels I need to close, kid. It's the first time I felt like this since I first arrived here in Kanto. Come back tomorrow. So there we go, guys. We've defeated LT Surge. And it's time for us to go on to the next place. So here we are, guys. We are back in Celadon City. We're going to be taking on the Pokemon Gym. The gym leader is Erica, the nature-loving princess. So let's step right in to our next place. And check it out. Let's see what we're going to have here for us. It's been a while since I went through this puzzle. I got to tell you guys, it's been a little while. So I'm going to have to figure this out as we go through here. Hope you guys are doing well. I've been spending a lot of my time with my dog Spot, with my family, with friends. 
I've had some friends come and visit me here in Florida just recently. Had Munching Orange, Sully Pones, a couple of those guys come through. And it was a blast. We got the chance to stay at an Airbnb. We rented one out, had a nice little pool. I stayed there a few days with them. It's always nice to catch up with friends. As I know they've been going through a lot as well. It just seems like that's something that's happening to a lot of my friends right now. A lot of YouTubers, we're going through a phase where you, we grow as people. And that does change your content quite a bit. And it changes the way you want to run your channel and the type of videos that you want to put up on it. And that's something that we're all kind of there, you know, we're all in the same uh, place just thinking about those things. So it's always good to talk to friends that are, you know, very used to what you do. I like to think of those guys as my co-workers, even though it's usually just me running my own YouTube channel. But it's just due to those similarities that I can talk to them about anything that I want, about ideas of what I want to bring into the future. And I know that a lot of those guys are also brainstorming a lot as well. I hope to bring you guys some very, very good content. I know that we still have a couple more battles, a couple more things to do, but I have some ideas in store. Oh, if it isn't the one who's been trying to fill the Pokedex, I do hope things have been going well for you since our last encounter. I see, you certainly have been busy. I'm not particularly fond of those kinds of public things. However, battles are different. That's what you came for, isn't it? Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Gym Leader Erica. So let's go ahead and jump into our next Gym Leader rematch here. Erica's gonna send out a Tangela, and I do not feel too scared of Erica here. I think we'll be okay. We have Rush up in front, so let's go ahead and see what we can do with our shiny Arcanine. I'm always very, very happy to use Rush here. So let's see how much our Flare Blitz is going to do, and Tangela is gonna go down. We do have a lot of Pokemon with type advantages. I'm very happy with the way our team is shaped up, so I don't think we're going to have a lot to worry about. Our team should be able to cruise on through these rematches without too much trouble. Let's see what we can do against the Executor. It's level 56, so some of our Pokemon are a little bit higher. Some are a little bit lower, but that's how it's going to go. Now, another thing that I've been thinking a lot about for you guys is just playing some different series of games. So if you guys have any suggestions, make sure you let me know in the comments. Uh, some of the games that I'd really enjoy playing would be Mario. I really like Mario. I'd love to do a couple Mario playthroughs for you guys. Maybe even have some friends come on. Another thing that I'd really enjoy doing is just making some vlogs and just talking about life and myself and just sharing that with you. Because I know a lot of you guys, it always surprises me. And I know it, it shouldn't even surprise me. I've been doing this for almost 10 years. I've been doing YouTube for a really long time. I started September 2010. So now we're here, it's 2019, we're almost on 2020, and there's no surprise that a lot of you guys know a lot about me. I always get some messages and DMs where people are just telling me about some of the moments that they listened to in a video or something they related to that they were going through that I talked about. And it's crazy to think, like, whoa, you guys really do know me, you do know these things. So that's something that I'm going to be working on a lot more is to open up to you and to tell you more about my life. I've been very, very private for a while now. I've been kind of reserved, just taking it all in. You know, after a while where you're sharing so much with others, you got to, you know, grow a little bit and keep a little bit of that for yourself to share more. Simply marvelous. That was an effort worthy of at least 10 rainbow badges. Was it? Where are they then? We didn't get them, but we're moving on up to our next place. So here we are guys, we are back in Fuchsia City. We're gonna be taking on the Gym Leader Koga, the Poisonous Ninja Master. And I hope you guys are excited, because we do have a very, very strong type advantage here. Hey, how's it going, dude? Let's see how we get through here then. I've been getting a little bit lost through the puzzles. Wait, can I just, there is nothing here. <laughs> if it isn't a child, it seems we have faded to meet once again. You have come at a truly opportune time. Sing it out, I want to test my newly refined sinister techniques in a battle that will end in your utter defeat. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Gym Leader Koga. So let's go ahead and take on Koga then, and let's see what Koga can do here. Koga's going to open up with a Tentacruel. And here we go. We're going to start things off with Rush. I want to see what this guy was going to bring out. So Tentacruel is level 56 as well. We should be okay. We should be okay. 
Let me go ahead and switch out then. And we're going to bring out the one, the only, Maple. I don't know if we'll go Mega Maple today. But we're going to do a little something. We're going to go for the Mega Drain. So continuing on with what I've been telling you guys. Just thank you so much for all your support. For those of you guys that are here watching this right now. Thank you. You're the Purple Banditos. You're the people that are there for me. Regardless of what I go through in my personal life. Regardless of everything that happens. You guys are here. When the video goes up. And that means the world to me. So thank you guys so much for that. It's for you that... I do get back up, even though I get knocked down sometimes. I do get back up for you guys, and I make these videos for you guys. So don't worry about that. I may have times where I may be gone for a little bit, but I can assure you it's because I'm growing, and that's going to bring even better videos back to you guys. I have a lot of stories just from things that I've been going through in my life, from travels, from visiting friends that I would love to share with you guys that I would love to tell in videos that are going to be coming in the future. So it's good, you know, to have some of those stories in my pocket, you know, ready to bring out whenever I want. And I've been storing a lot of those stories lately. I have a lot of good ones. I've been trying to enjoy my life recently. And that's what it's all about, just enjoying life and growing and doing what makes you happy. So that's what I've been doing and I'm feeling much better now. I think I was going there through a period of time when I was feeling very down. And I know that's kind of hard to, to say and kind of hard for you guys to listen to because you always see me as this really happy and uppity person. But I have to tell you guys, there are other emotions that I go through. You know, some of the things that I do show on camera, you know, there's some things that I don't show off camera or, you know, or on camera that I do off camera. So it's just, you know, feeling down a little bit. It's just human emotions. We all have them. You know, I deal with those emotions as well. So it's just a matter of getting over them standing back up and that's where I am now so I've took some time I stood back up and I'm feeling ready and pumped and I can't wait to bring you guys more and more content so you'll be finding out more about that as we go but I can at least assure you Pokemon Let's Go videos are gonna be wrapped up they're very very close to being done the series is very close to being wrapped up so I'm very excited for that I'm looking forward to starting a new adventure with you guys and Starting off with a fresh, clean slate. So let's go ahead and finish this battle up as well. Muck is almost... Well, he's got, he got KO'd. He's not, he's not even almost. The dude got knocked out. Next up, it's going to be a Tentacruel. So let's wrap this battle up, ladies and gents. I have to tell you, we've been doing quite good here. So I'm very proud, very proud of the way things have been going. Let's knock out that Tentacruel. And that is going to be it. The Tentacruel is down we got some xp and we took down oh attack to level 59 i'll take it i'll take it we beat gym leader koga what's up koga he says he must hone his skills we got 13 680 for winning with trainers like you and mo pokemon league must be a place of formidable strength truly something to be proud of so it happens i've been thinking of aiming to join the elite for myself Ooh, you guys hear about that maybe we'll see that Okay, guys, so we're back here today, and this time around, we are in the Saffron City Pokemon Gym. The gym leader is Sabrina. We got a couple certified trainers. Let's see what we can do around I gotta figure this out. I haven't done this puzzle in a while. Okay, guys, I think I got this puzzle. We're about to do this thing. I've been running out around a little bit longer than you would expect. This puzzle is tough if you forget what you're doing if you haven't been to this gym for a while it's definitely gonna be a little bit tougher but just follow the steps and we'll be a-okay i looped around here and i had to figure it out i had to loop the dupe and get the formula together but the formula has almost been solved ladies and gents so here we go here we go that that was not it that was not it i thought i had it i thought i had it just this time, this time I got it. Don't worry about it. I'm very, very close. I'm very close to figuring this thing out. Once in a while, you're going to get lost in life, right? Everybody does. Everybody gets lost. You don't have your phone. Your phone dies on you. You don't have a GPS. You're driving around. You're going to get lost. But it's just a matter of uh, recharging those batteries. 
plugging it back in and going again following to your destination and that's pretty much what I'm doing here so don't worry about it ladies and gents we're gonna keep on trucking also if you guys have any questions for me I'll be answering them in the next video so make sure you guys leave them in the comments below I read through all the comments and I'm definitely gonna be reading through all these so if you guys have any questions on what's coming up what I've been up to life anything leave them in the comments and I'll answer them in the next video so here we go I think it's this one let's see come on shoot me up to the top no it shot me to the side oh maybe it's this one I'm telling you I'm gonna figure this out eventually sooner rather than later sooner rather than later now I can't go I'm trying to figure out which way I should go, but it's gonna take me a little bit of thinking about this. These all look the same. I've been going through this for like 15 minutes now. I thought I had it. I really did. Well, this looks promising. All right, all right, it's this one. It's this one for sure, 100%. Yes, this looks good. This is much better. So this is the way we should take, guys. Don't worry about it. We got this. We got this. All right. And that is going to... Yes? This is it. This has got to be it. We got this guy over here. He's training. He's doing his things. Let's see if I'm going to take the right path. Okay. Okay. The scientist. I think we're very close now. I'm either one or two teleport pads away. And this one is going to be it. There we have it. I made it. See, that wasn't too bad. Let's get ready then. It's true, the psychic power is a potent ability. However, that things cannot be overcome with that power alone. I finally understand now after losing you in our last battle. I won't be relying on just psychic power this time. My true strength, my true self, allow me to test them against you. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus gym leader Sabrina. So let's go ahead and take on Sabrina. She's got five Pokemon. And as you guys just heard, she's been mixing things up a little bit. So she's not going to be going just fully with her psychic types, is what she says. That is going to be for us to find out. So let's go ahead and open up with the flamethrower. Rush is always good to have up in front. It makes for some easy battles. The reflect has come out. Hmm. Could switch out. I could drop that brick, brick, breakity, brick, 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 breakity. So let's go ahead and... Go for some diff. Oh, the Mr. Mime got withdrew. I feel like Sabrina knew a little something was coming here. Now we're gonna have some trouble. Slow bro. I gotta switch out. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get rid of this slow bro. So let me go ahead and switch out. It's what I've been wanting to do anyways. We're gonna bring out. Yeah, let's do it. I was gonna bring out Loki and hit the brick brick breakity brick 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 breakity. But Maple should be okay here in this battle as well. Maple hasn't been getting that much action in the battles, so it'll be good to throw Maple in here. Let's see what we can do to Maple, guys. Let's see what we can do with our Maple. I'm gonna drop the Sludge Bomb, see if we can poison it. That Psychic is probably gonna do a good little bit. Yeah, I thought we were gonna be able to tank that up a little bit better. That's okay, though. That's okay, guys. The Sleep Powder is going to hit, which is great for us. So let's keep on going and let's keep on moving. Also, if you guys are wondering if I've seen the new gen of Pokemon that's coming, I have. I've been seeing it. I'm keeping an eye on it. I know there's not that much information available right now, but I'm thinking about, you know, doing a little something with that. Maybe a podcast would be cool just talking about it because I do love me some Pokemon and I'm very interested in what's to come. All right, let's see what we got coming out next. It's gonna be a Jinx. Hmm, a Jinx, you say? This is a pretty easy battle here for us, so let's keep on going. Right now, I really like the starter Pokemon that have been revealed. I think Grookey is the coolest, but you know, I, I really like Grass-type Pokemon. I feel like I have a little bias for it. There's just something about Grass-type Pokemon. I always like using them, and I use them a lot as starters. We'll have to see which one I'm going to use here. I'll choose something different, you know. I'm going to mix it up for you guys and try it out. So, 
we'll see. Maybe it'll be Grookey. Maybe it'll be one of the other ones. It depends. I'm still looking to see what the evolutions are before I make a decision fully. I want to see what they're going to look like fully evolved. It could mix them up completely. It could have a lot of crazy typings. I've been thinking a lot about the typings. And, you know, I've talked to some friends about it. And it's going to be cool to see how they do it. I hope it's different typings than what we usually get. I hope it's not a fire fighting. We need something a little bit different. So that's what I'm hoping for. Alright, I'm going to go for the flamethrower. And that should be it here. Hypno is down. So let's keep on moving, guys. Let's keep on moving. Maple grew to level 59. And the Mr. Mime is going to come back out. Looks like the Ruster might knock out everybody here. And I'm okay with that. If that's what's going on, the Ruster wants to take on all these people, then the Ruster is going to do it. Mr. Oh, man. Mr. Mime barely survived that. Come on, Mr. Mime. What's going on, my friend? What's going on? Also, I haven't really had a question of the day in a little while. So if you've made it this far in the video, then you are probably a very big Pokemon fan. You know what's up with Pokemon. Let me know what you've been playing recently. What games are you guys playing? Maybe there's one or two that will stand out to me that I'd like to try out. I know that there are a couple games that I've been wanting to play through recently or that I've never had the chance to play through. One of those is Super Mario Odyssey. I never played that game. If I played it, it would be a blind let's play. And it would be pretty wild as I am not the greatest at Mario. But I improve as I go. I improve as I go. It's with any game, with any let's play that I do. Things might look a little bit shaky at the start. But I pick up on games very, very fast. We got an Alakazam on Mega Alakazam Battle, ladies and gents. And I... I'm, I'm believing in Vision here. But this is looking a little bit tougher than I thought. Ooh, the Alakazam is about to go down. Here comes the Shadow Ball. Take it out. Oh, that's it. Vision is down. Woo! I should have had Shadow Ball on there, too. I'm always going to be mixing up our movesets here and there, guys. So this isn't our final moveset. We're still going to be improving it. Switching some things up here and there. So here we go. We got Loki. For right now, though, I'm not too worried about our movesets because all of our Pokemon are very strong. They're well-trained, so we can take down just about anybody. And that is it. The Alakazam is down. We defeated Gym Leader Sabrina. I won't count a trainer like you for years. We got some money. We got some XP. There was once a time when I was shocked that I lost you. The feeling is gone now. It's been replaced with the desire to grow strong. Well, there you go, Sabrina. You're welcome, then. I'm glad we were able to boost that motivation into you. Now we are ready, so let's keep moving on to the next gym. Okay guys, we are here in Cinnabar Island's Pokemon Gym. We're going to be taking on the Gym Leader Blaine, the hot-headed Quiz Master. So let's step right inside and say hello to our old friends. We beat that Firebrand. Yeah, we're here to beat him again. We're here to beat them all again. You know what I mean, guys? We're going to be beating them here and there and doing all these things. Well done, returning here to my gym. You're the one who retrieved this key to this gym from the Pokemon Mansion. See anything interesting in there? Well, he still holds the remnants of my old friend's research. By the way, I've been hearing an interesting rumor. You happen to know a young lady named Green, would you? Well, it's not as though I really know the whole story. More importantly, skim all this way, we should have a battle. Ha! Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Gym Leader Blaine. So let's go ahead and take on the Fire Gym Leader. He's going to send out his Magmar. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here, guys. I'm going to open up with Rush, as you know. Rush is one of our best openers. And now we're taking on the 8th and the 7th. And then we'll be taking on the 8th gym leader. So we are almost, almost there with the gym leader rematches. Here comes that brick, brick, breakity, brick, 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 breakity. Did not do a whole lot. I wonder if Blaine is going to switch out here. Nope, the Outrage is going to hit, and the Magmar is down. I have to tell you guys that Blaine's Gym is definitely one of my favorite gyms in this game. Through playing this and battling him and all this, I really like what they've done with him, and I hope to see that in other Pokemon games, especially the new ones that are coming. The new ones that are coming. I have a lot of ideas and very strong opinions on what needs to be in that game. I've been playing Pokemon my whole life, you know? I could definitely talk about it. I've been playing since Gen 1, 
I'm one of those Gen 1 babies. So, you know, up to where we are now, I think I have a good idea of what Pokemon is all about. So here we go. Let's drop that Surf and let's take down the Rapidash. This is probably going to be one of our easier gyms. We got Mega Wave out here, and I'm not too worried about all these fire Pokemon. We're just going to be taking them out. If there's a gym that I'm a little bit worried about, it's probably going to be the next one. Since we don't know what to prepare for, if you know what's coming. Alright, let's drop that Surf then, and the Ninetales should be going down. This is way too easy with Megas. You get Mega Wave out here, and it is going to be a piece of cake. Alright. Keep it up, Blaine. Keep it up. No, no hot-headed quiz master questions today. Nothing crazy, dude. Nothing crazy. Flareon. His poor little thing. The Flareon needs a boost. There needs to be some item given to the Flareon to power it up. That Pokemon is a little bit too weak. It's okay. And I mean, if you're going to be using it on super effective Pokemon, and if you have a type advantage, it's not going to be absolutely horrible. But if you're using it... EV trained in some battles, you're not going to be doing all that well against other Pokemon with much better stats. So the Flareon is down, and now here comes Hot-Headed Blaine's last Pokemon. And it's going to be an Arcanine. Alright then, he's got his own Arcanine ready to go. It is level 57. So look, we got some in common. We're both Arcanine fans. I love Arcanine, definitely one of my favorite Fire-type Pokemon. And that is going to be it. This had to be the easiest one. We didn't have to run around like Sabrina's. We didn't have to get lost like in Erica's garden. You just run right up to Blaine and you're like, I want to battle you, dude. So with that, guys, recently gym leaders sure have been increasing. That just means more fun for me, so I don't mind at all. It's true that you already have a Volcano Bash, but don't worry about that. Let's battle. Well, thank you for that, Blaine. We are now ready to make our way to the final gym rematch. Okay guys, we're back in Viridian City. We're gonna be taking on the Pokemon Gym. And as you guys can see, there's no announcement about who the leader was. A new Viridian City Gym Leader has arrived. Whoa, a new Gym Leader has arrived. Take a wild guess on who that's gonna be. I think I already know who it's gonna be, but we're gonna let you be in for a surprise as it is our old friend, Blue. Yo, Rodri! Since I've become the gym leader here, the Viridian City Gym has really stepped it up. It's made each day pretty busy, though. By the way, what do you think of this gym's design? Makes me look like some kind of bad guy, right? I've been thinking of remodeling the place. Well, it doesn't matter all that much, I guess. No matter the place, I'm still gonna beat you. Oh, you really are! He's gonna show us who the strength of a top trainer is. So here we go, guys. Once and for all, Rodri versus Gym Leader Blue. This is the last of the Gym Leader rematches. So I hope you guys are excited to be taking on our friend Blue. He's took over for Giovanni, and I think this is awesome that you can come back here and you can battle him. So let's open up. He's got a Taurus. We're gonna go for the Flamethrower. Also, Blue's Pokemon are higher level. As you can see, level 66 on this Taurus. So we're gonna have to play this a little bit better. We're gonna have to step this up and get it together. Now, let's go for the Flare Blitz. See if we can take down this Taurus with our rush. Taurus is down. There we go. So that is the first of Blue's Pokemon out of here. As I told you guys, this is the one gym that I was a little bit worried about. I knew that Blue would have some surprises. Gyarados. All right, all right. Well, it's time to bring out Loki. Loki hasn't seen that much action today. And it's okay. Loki doesn't need to come out with all our other Pokemon or stepping it up. Loki is our ace. You know, you got that in your back pocket, ready to bring out whenever things get tough. And here it is. The moment is ready. Gyarados. Let's drop that Thunderbolt then, as it is going to be very, very, very effective. And the Gyarados is down. Nothing to it but to do it with our Pikachu. And I am liking it. I'm digging it. Let's see what we got next. It's going to be an Aerodactyl. Oh, an Aerodactyl. Now, the good thing is I do have Brick Break on our Loki. So let's go ahead and go for it then. Let's drop that Brick Brick Breakity Brick 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 Breakity and see how much damage we can do. Did not do as much as I thought. Here comes the Earthquake, ladies and gents. Ooh, we hung in there. All right. All right, we hung in there. I'm just going to go for one more. That should put it at about half health. And then 
whoever we send in should be able to handle this. Loki, you've done an amazing job. And we tanked it out. All right, Loki. Tanked it out so we wouldn't feel so sad. Thank you. I actually feel much happier now as this battle should be easier here. Let's go for one more brick, brick, breakity, brick, 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 breakity. So close to going down. That's going to be it for Loki. And Loki, you did an amazing job against an Aerodactyl. For us to get off three brick, breakity, brick, 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 breakities there, that's almost impossible. So let's switch out. We're going to bring out Wave. And let's see what Wave can do here. Against Pokemon, Trainer, and now Gym Leader Blue. The Ice Beam is going to do a whole lot. So there goes the withdrawal. You knew he was going to do it. You knew he was going to do it. If I hit him there with the Ice Beam, that would have been a little bit too much. The Executor. Oh, man. I thought we'd be doing a little bit more to an Executor. Let's switch out then. Let's see if we can bring out our Charizard to take down the Executor. As I am not going to risk Wave getting KO'd here. We're going to make sure that Wave stays up. Just because, you know, this used to be the Ground-type gym. You never know what kind of crazy Pokemon are going to be coming out here. Executor is not doing all that much to us, so it is time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for that Mega Evolution X, and let's drop the Flamethrower. Here we go. Tack is going for it. We got that Mega Evolution. Tack is Mega Evolved. The Flamethrower should absolutely KO this Pokemon. The Executor is down. Woo! Blue has three Pokemon left, and it's been quite the battle. Definitely the toughest one that we've had. I gotta focus up for this one, because the Pokemon are so much higher level. Alright, let's switch out. Let's bring out Wave, as I told you guys. Wave should be the one that can take down this Aerodactyl. Then we have two Pokemon left to go. What a day it has been, ladies and gentlemen. What a day it has been. I feel good, though. I feel very happy to be back here with you guys. So let's drop that Surf. The Rock Slide shouldn't do all that much. All right, all right. We flinched? Are you serious? No way. If this guy makes me flinch again, there is something crazy going on here. All right. We landed the Surf. That should take down the Aerodactyl. If it stays up, this guy's a maniac. All right, Aerodactyl is down. Level 66. It's out of here. It's out of here. You know what I'm saying? Cut it out. Cut it out, Blue. Cut it out. Who's up next? Alakazam. Hmm. Now, we tried a little bit of Alakazam on Alakazam action earlier. So, we're going to switch this out. We'll bring out Tack. We're going to use our Mega to wrap up this battle. Should be a pretty clean battle to wrap up here. With two Pokemon left. But we don't know how strong the Alakazam and the last Pokemon are going to be. Here comes the Reflect. Woo! I knew there was going to be a Reflect coming out. That's going to make our physical moves less strong. And that affects Tack quite a little bit. Let's go for the Flamethrower then. Foul play. Oh boy, that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. Hmm. This is a tough predicament to be in. So we have two Pokemon in full health. We're going to use the Hyper Potion on Tack. We should be okay here. Let's see what we can do. Here comes the Psychic. Oh, man. It's still pushing me down to about half. I want to go for another Flamethrower. Oh, no. Come on. Tank this out, Tack. That's it. Tack is out. Close one. Close one. Close one. As I said, it's not going to be as easy as we thought. Let's send out Rush here. Maybe, just maybe, I can land a priority and take this guy out. Maybe, just maybe, I can be a little bit faster. We are level 59. So let's go for that Flare Blitz. I did land it. Awesome. So that's it. Alakazam is down. And here comes Blue's final Pokemon. This is the last Pokemon of all the Gym Leader rematches. So here we go. The Reflect also wore off. And it's going to be a Charizard. Mother Fudger. Here we go. Charizard is much higher level than us now and this is something to think about I don't know what this guy's gonna bring out we're gonna use that on wave and here it comes the keystone oh my goodness blue's got himself a mega charizard Y 
We have the Mega Charizard X. He has the Mega Charizard Y. And Rush is out. Oh, good work, Rush. You've done awesome today with the Gym Leader rematches. We're very thankful to you for that. No worries there. Let's see what Wave can do against the Charizard. We're going to need some miracles here. We're going to need some big hits against this Mega. Woo! Here we go, guys. I'm going for the Surf. A uh, Hyper Beam is going to be coming out. Oh, my goodness. That's going to do so much to me. Okay, we survived it somehow, which is a good thing. That's a Hyper Beam, which means that the Charizard is going to have to recharge. No way. We might have this right here, ladies and gentlemen. We might have this right here. It needs to recharge. I'm going for the Surf. Come on, Wave. Take it down. Take down the Charizard. It survived? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. It's going to take me down with the Hyper Beam. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Wave tanked it out. Wave tanked it out. Oh my goodness. No way. Awesome. So there we have it, guys. Wave's going to go for the Surf. And that is going to take down Blue's Mega Charizard Y. Great work to Wave. We did it. I did not think we were going to hold out there, but we've done it. So that's it for the Gym Leader rematches. We gained a bunch of XP and we defeated Gym Leader Blue. Oh man, what was I doing? We got 19040 for winning. As long as I can battle strong opponents, I don't care what happens. You get what I mean, right? You better come back again. Thank you, Blue. We appreciate that. We've defeated all of the Gym Leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, we took them on the rematches. We whooped them in the rematches. Maybe the gyms kind of whooped us here and there. Maybe Sabrina's. I got a little off there. But aside from that, we did pretty good. The battles went over very, very well. So I hope you guys are pumped to continue this adventure. We're very close to wrapping it up, as I said. Make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to be having more videos coming up on the daily until we wrap this up. So we should have it wrapped up in the next couple days. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Make sure you hit a like on that video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you for all your support, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.